Hey guys, this is Aya and welcome to another Atelier Lulua video! So this time it's going to be slightly different because I'm actually going to show you how to craft some uh, good armor for the early game and in general some tips and tricks about synthesizing that you might not know. Now this is by no means like an ultimate weapon guide or whatever. But I know that the Atelier series can be a little bit intimidating for beginner players. I know that I was intimidated when I first got into it. So I thought that this video might help someone that is just starting the game. I am in like chapter 3 myself. So this is going to be like very beginner friendly. So that being said, I am assuming that you know the very basics of alchemy in Atelier Lulua, like how to synthesize an item and how to use the four elements like uh, fire, earth, water and thunder to get better effects for, uh, for your items. Now if you don't know that, let me know in the comments below and I could make a future video about that too. So when it comes to synthesizing in Atelier Lulua, we have three ways to make our items better. The first one and the most obvious one is quality. You must have noticed that our items have like different quality values. This one is 24, this one is 50. Right now the quality is actually capped at 50 because this is a very early game. And yeah, the higher the quality, the more effective your item is. And the second way is actually the effects. So, when you synthesize an item, we talked about this before, you have um, these bars on the bottom right that show you that if you add enough fire elements to this item, you can unlock a new effect. Let's try getting one here. Ah, for example, I can get fire damage S if I have enough fire. Those are the effects. They are optional technically you your item might not have any but ideally you want to get like the highest possible things but there is also a third way which is the traits now every item has traits and you will notice that there is a bunch yes. of different ones so when you examine an item for example that you picked up this plain grass from the field and you see that it has the trait heal plus. Now, if you don't know what that does, you can click the table of content. It's the middle button in the PlayStation 4, I don't know in the other platforms. So yep, here you go. It will show you the a brief description that heal plus increases item healing power by 15%. So almost all items that you gather have these. Some of them might not, but most of them do. And the beautiful part about them is that they are transferable. Because you don't care if this plain grass has recovery power, you want to transfer that on a healing item. So if you want to look at the traits, you can go to the guide, effect and traits, trait. And here it will show you a list of all the traits that you have unlocked. Like I think that you need to have seen them at least once in order for them to be here. For example, quality up, increases item quality by 5%, and it shows you on the bottom right which items it can be carried across. So if you make an attack item or a restore item, all of these can get quality up. But some of these, for example, heal plus that we mentioned before, will can only be carried across restoring items or exploration or strengthen items because an attack item cannot really do anything with heal plus. So we are going to make an armor for this video. So if we scroll to the around the fourth page, you will start seeing a lot of traits that can be carried across armor. For example, HP charge, max HP increases by five, HP boost by 10, MP boost, stats, defense boost, stuff like that. Uh, so from this list you can choose which ones are your favorites and try to get them on your armor. For me that is going to be these two, no, this one, defense and speed charge. 
Uh, it increases defense and speed by 3, which is pretty cute. And you will notice that attack and speed cannot be carried across armor, which is a bit sad. But you can carry attack and defense, which is the same as before, increases attack and defense by 3. Now, you might be missing this, and in that case I have a trick for you in order to find them. If you are in Ireland like I am, you can probably do this in every town. You can go to the well. Every town has a well somewhere where you can like draw clean water from. In Ireland it's here in Artisan's Way. You can just spam gathering water. And that water has like a random chance to give you the effect you want. And it's quite fast to get them. So, for example, I just got a bunch of them. You see I have a lot of water. And I got consumed MP minus 15%. I got a defense boost water. So I've noticed that you can get most of the armor and attack traits here. Uh, for example, I have attack and speed charge. And since it doesn't cost any time, it's very quick. Like, don't be afraid to spam it and try to get the, the traits that you want. I find this pretty useful in the early game. Right, so, if you want to make armor like I am, you have to go to the smithy to do it. Because Lulua cannot craft armor. But this guy can. So by talking to him and clicking create armor, he will show you a list of all the recipes. And I am going to make adventurous clothing. It must be the best one we have so far. This one is too low level. And this one can only be used by the knight character. So I'm gonna target adventures clothing. And we will see that the materials needed is a mafcot. Armor materials, which can also be a mafcot. Animal products and threads. Which you will probably have lots of random items from your gathering. Now, you might have like some super duper traits here that you want to transfer to your items. For example, HP bo boost that I have on this uh, lizard tail. Whatever else you have, MP boost. But this is not very smart because once you do that, you will create one armor with it and nothing else. You have three players, that, three characters that need this armor and you're gonna use it up and then you will not be able to have free armors with HP boost. So, what we do to remedy the situation is we try to get the nice traits onto armor materials like mafcot or cloth, which is gonna be easier and we are actually going to make three of them in one go. So it's very replicatable <laughs> for all characters. Alright, so let's see how we can transfer trades into supplements and then into the mafcot in order to make the best armor that we can. So, for this tutorial I am going to make a supplement yellow. And I want to transfer the trade attack and speed charging to it. I can just go to my water tab, select the trait, you can filter with triangle and find here it is attack and speed charge confirm it will show me the waters I have with attack and speed charge I will select the best quality one and then for the rest of the items I'll just select them semi randomly make sure you don't accidentally fail the item, I don't know if that's possible Doesn't seem like it is, okay. So, now by pressing R1 you will see the transferable traits. And I only have attack and speed charge and I have enough trade points to transfer it. So, I'm just synthesizing this yellow supplement. And here in this screen you get to select which traits you want to transfer. I only have one. But like, don't forget it. So, now, you will say, ah yeah, attack and speed charge does not uh, transfer to armor. 
But I have one more trick up my sleeve, which I'm going to show you right now. So, uh, in order to make Mafkut, we need two supplements, right? I just made this attack at speed charge. And before I started the video, I also made these defense and speed charge ones as well. So, if I use both of these, I'll just select random items here. You will notice, ta -da! I have a mystery trait. In Atelier Lulua, you can combine traits. So by using attack and defense charge with attack and speed charge, I get to merge them in one trait. So I only have to use one slot and you can make them like even more powerful this way too. So the first time that you do this, it's going to be um, question marks. And let me select better items for these. I don't have a lot of choices for my cotton and rabbit fur, but what we can do is select our animal products so that we maximize uh, the effects. We need uh, thunder and earth. So this one seems nice, but not as good. Here it is. If I use a lizard tail, I get to have defense plus 3 and speed plus 3. Also, I should mention the reason why we are using a supplement yellow and a supplement purple is so that we can maximize the effect as much as we can. Obviously, a purple supplement gives you more points in thunder and a yellow one in earth. So, let's synthesize this. And now we have stats charge, which will increase all the stats by 3, so that will be attack, defense and speed. And that's only one trait, which is awesome. We have just enough TP points to transfer it, which is great. And now we have 3 of this mafcot, which means we can make 3 equipments with stat charge. But this is not enough, because we have 2 extra slots in our mafcot. So let's see how we can make it the best it can be. Now this is the early game, so don't stress too much about what your armor is gonna be like. I'm just going to like recommend you the best things that I have currently. But soon enough you will be able to unlock even more traits. You're gonna have like better items. You're going to change armor quite soon, so don't stress too much. But I managed to find a pretty nifty combination for my armor. I can use this rabbit fur with HB charge. And then use this lizard tail with HP boost. Now, similarly to what we did before, let me show you. I'll just do this randomly first. I can combine HP charge and HP boost to get a better trade. You can do this with any type of trait that is increasing stats, like MP charge, attack charge, and you can also do it with distraction up plus and stuff that you need for your attack items and for your weapons as well. So yeah, there's a lot of like different combinations that you can try, but I would say just experiment and see what you can find out. Now, ideally, I want to use this HP charge and boost, but I would also like to use my extra slot for a defense and speed charge. But I don't have enough trade points, I only have 20, and like this one is already worth 20 points. So what I need to do is find a way to increase the max DP, which is with the trade max DP increase plus plus. I have already transferred this on a supplement, which is like the easiest thing. And now, ta -da! I have maximum 30 TP. So just enough to transfer my two traits. And I think this is looking pretty good. So let's synthesize it. Some of them cannot be transferred. It's talking about never-ending world. You don't really care about that right now. There we go, so I can use Swelling Power, which increases max HP by 15. I'm pretty sure that's the addition of HP Charge and HP Boost, right? 
HP boost was increasing by 10 and charge was increasing by 3 by 5. So now we have 15 total. Which is awesome, because we only get to spend one trade slot. And there is our second mascot. And the level up. So I can take this to the smithy. Create armor, adventurous clothing, make sure you select the correct one. And also you will notice that the effects on the math got stuck. So this one has defense plus 3 and speed plus 3. And this one as well, so our resulting item will have defense plus 6 and speed plus 6. Which is pretty good. And for the rest of the items, just focus on maximizing the elements, as we mentioned before. You can maximize water very easily with an Isle Fish Fillet. I'm trying to get the quality as high as I can, but again, this is the very beginning of the game, so it might not be that easy. But I wouldn't stress too much about it, you're going to change items pretty soon. So let's just try to get our electricity maxed as well. Also try not to use up any important items, for example this feather has attack boost. I might need this in the future, so instead I'm going to use rapid, which is not as great. Alright, there we go, maximize both effects. And I get to transfer three awesome traits that I have on my math codes. So we got one adventurous clothing, and I have enough items to do this three times for everyone. Here we go. My HP will be 79, which is a major improvement, and everything else is improving quite a lot. So yeah, just do this for all um, characters, and you can do similar things for the weapons as well. Weapons require ingot, and you can transfer stuff to ingot, and I think that you can transfer trades through oil. Let me just have a quick look. Actually, think. In order to make think, you need fuel. And if you press start, it will actually show you which fuel items you can synthesize. For me, it's Zettel and pure oil. So you can use the same logic to just transfer any traits that you want to your weapons as well. So yeah, let me know if this guide helped you in any way and I could make more. Again, this is meant for beginners, so let me know if you have any questions, if I didn't explain explain anything like very nicely. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel to watch my Atelier Lunua playthrough. We are at the very beginning, but we're planning to finish this as soon as possible. And thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.